what's up guys welcome to star citizen if you're new welcome to the verse welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel this is a new playthrough on star citizen i'm hoping i can get an actual full gameplay playthrough this is day one with my new account um i did have a i've got a main account which i've already spent money on and i wanted to demonstrate with this game that you don't need to spend loads of money. There's a massive misconception that you have to spend loads of money on this game to um, be able to play it, to have fun on it, to make money. It's not the case. Creepy face. Ooh. Ooh. So, um, yeah. That's the plan. All I've got is an Aurora and my starting money. I've, I've spent a little bit of money on water and stuff uh, since I've logged on and messed around when I got my account. But as you can see in my ships, that's all I've got. The RSI Aurora MR, the starting ship. So that is the cheapest package you can possibly buy. $45 plus VAT, I think, maybe. Uh, but around that mark. That's the idea of this series. I'm going to show you that you can have fun in this game, you can make money in this game, and you don't need to spend any more than the base package. So let's retrieve the ship. Oh yeah. Pad two. Okay, cool. So I don't really have an end game for this. I'm just gonna play, we're gonna make money, we're gonna have fun, and yeah, we're gonna enjoy the verse, like I said, without spending any real life money. Um normally I like to start by doing a few package missions to get a bit of UEC under my belt and uh, kind of go from there. I think if I was going to hardcore it and just rush to a ship we would do some package runs, get 45, 50 grand, rent a prospector mining ship, go do some mining, make a load of money doing that and um, save up a ship that way. Maybe that will be what we'll do. Maybe we'll at least get to that point to start with um, so that we've always got an income coming in. But we want to have fun, right? So, um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I start with the Aurora this time round. Originally, on my main account, I started with a Mustang. Uh, the reason I like to start with the Aurora is just simply that. With the Mustang, like I started with before, you don't have anywhere to put packages if you want to do packages or anything like that. The Aurora has this little entrance way behind the cockpit where you can put boxes, so it's handy for that. And the Mustang doesn't. The Mustang definitely looks better than the Aurora, I'll say that. Um, the Mustang is really good if you just want to jump in the game and do bounties, but you can do bounties with the Aurora as well. So, for me, I think the Aurora is the best starting ship out of the two base game packages. Um, just for the fact that it can do a little bit more than the, the Mustang. And having said that, if you just want to do bounties, uh, which is, if you don't know what a bounty hunting is, you just, you know, you'll get given a target in space, you'll fly there, you'll have a dogfight, you'll take the ship out, you'll get, you know, a few thousand UEC rewards, but the, the, the more reputation you gain with the bounty hunters... Oh, thank you. Yeah, the more bounty reputation you get, and the more of the missions you do, the more UEC you get from completing the missions. So you can do that and you can make a lot of money doing it. But like I said, if you want to do other stuff, it's kind of difficult. So out of interest then, let's start off. This is... Oh, wrong button. This is so far away from what I would normally do. But I'm I'm kind of intrigued now. I've kind of uh, got myself interested and in see what happens here. So what, let's try a bounty. Why not? Let's see what happens. All right, we got an evaluation. So we'll do the evaluation. Okay. And whenever you do bounties, you want to make sure you go to mercenaries on the contract manager, general mercenary, and take a call to arms. And you can see our payment plus bonuses. So every time you kill a pirate 
Um, so someone with a Chrome stat, whether that's an NPC or a player, depending on their Chrome stat will give you a different reward. So you get an additional bonus to doing your bounty hunting. So it's, it's a really cool thing to pick up. Definitely worth doing. In fact, it's worth picking up anyway, no matter what you're doing in game, because you never know when you might run into a bit of trouble and have to take someone out. So, okay then, let's... Uh, <laughs> this will be interesting. I've never been into combat in an Aurora. So you can see there we've got the marker up in front, so we can jump over to Aberdeen. Thank you. I will, thank you. Let's jump over there. Uh, whoop. <laughs> so yeah, let's get over here. We'll, we'll take out the NPC. Oh, that was a quick drive. Quick flight. Quick jump, whatever you want to call it. Cheers, Aurora. Um, oh, that's nice and close. Now, so that's 207 kilometers away. We don't necessarily want to fly there. We might have to, but what we can do is have a little look if anything's going to go past it. I don't think it is. This might take us a bit closer, so we will lock onto this. We will press Z to release our camera. Keep an eye up there. And we will get ready to shut engines as we near or get as near as I think we can get. Oh, don't think that works. <laughs> I'm actually further away. There's nothing to jump to, and the downside to Aurora is it is pretty damn slow. But yeah, sometimes you'll be able to pop up your quantum drive and if you're lucky there'll be something sort of on the other side of where you're going or just off to one side and you can quantum drive towards it and instantly cancel your engine and you'll stop sort of a bit closer than you would. So, you know, if we was really lucky we could have got within 100 kilometers instead of 270 or whatever it was. But as it is, I'm going to have to fly over here. Uh, which is going to take a little while. Oh man, that is some serious light glare. And uh, yeah, we'll go and see if we can take someone out. I didn't actually show you around. So while you're flying, if you don't know, if you're new to Star Citizen, you can still get out of your seat. The ship will carry on flying. It's on cruise control. And you can uh, have a little wander around. Not there's much to wander around in the Aurora. But you can see we've got the bed back there, which you can get on. Um, and when you're in a bed, you can log out in space. And when you log back in next, you'll spawn in your bed all day. You know, with Star Citizen, there's plenty of bugs right now. One of them being that you might wake up inside the sun, which isn't a very good prospect. But, um, yeah, it doesn't always happen. <laughs> when it doesn't, it's quite handy. Whoa! I keep randomly looking up, doing like the selfie cam. And his eyes are big. <laughs> I will get back in the uh, pilot seat and uh, oh yeah make my way over here oh, and just one more thing I really like the Aurora cockpit I think it's a really nice cockpit um, I really like the panels and stuff the lighting it's a nice, it's a nice place to sit I like it Very cool. Right, we're approaching the area where we should find an enemy. I'll get a bit closer before I uh, come off the engines. I start winding that down now, back down to an optimum speed. So just there you can see the little white notch there. That's the optimum speed for this ship. So as long as you're at that or below, it will handle sort of the best it can safely. If you try and keep the speed above that and try and handle you'll have problems um, it won't you know handle at its best kind of thing so we'll bring it down to an optimum speed enemy should be over here put a little scan out if we want might ping them up so it's cement over here here we go get out of the 
target. Can we see what ship it is? Oh, it's a little Mustang. So now that's on, we will be able to engage. Oh, you're going down, buddy. So this is actually the Aurora versus the Mustang. Come on, buddy. Get out of it. He's getting messed up. He's getting messed up. Get him out of there. I've got missiles, but, you know, I, I like to use the guns. It's fun. He looks a bit confused. Damn it. Oh, he's saying, damn it, he must be nearly out. He tried to ram me. Definitely do with some uh, gun upgrades if uh, I do want to do more bounties with the Aurora. <laughs> but that's going to mean earning money. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. So we should got a 2k flat plus a bonus from the mercenary uh, contract. A cool to arms. So two grand for that. Oh, I didn't actually see it pop up, but I'm sure we did. So we might even be able to pick up another contract from here, save us flying back. Uh, we can take the Pro 10 one. Oh, that's handy. It's uh, not too far away at all. Might be because uh, we've been given one because we're over here. Oh, I've got another long flight over there. There's nowhere to jump to to pull me closer. <laughs> it's such a creepy face. I really want this to work better, but I'm using an old camera, and uh, it's not not as smooth as I'd like. Got a right wonk on on the mouth look when I smile. <laughs> look like a crackhead or something. The main objective for me is to showcase the fact that you don't need to spend any more money than the forty-five dollars for the base package if you don't want to. I've genuinely had people say to me that um, they're not playing Star Citizen because they don't want to play a game where they have to buy ships and you can't get ships in game. That is massively wrong. It's so much misinformation that it's unbelievable. All ships that are flyable are available in game right now, as far as I'm aware, apart from maybe one or two. The only like exclusive ones you can buy with real life money are concept ships, basically. For the most part um, but yeah all the other ships you can buy in game you know you're not at a disadvantage if you just want to play the base game and not spend any more than the base package because like i said once you start in the money you can go buy any ship you want all the fighters for like pvp are all definitely obtainable you know in a very short space of time so you don't have to worry about that if you just want to pvp you're not going to be outgunned by other people unless they turn up in a big capital ship but then that would be the same if an organization just rolls in. And also, you know, you need more than one person to fly a capital ship for it to be useful. So, um, yeah, hopefully I can show all that with this series. But we are now in the danger zone. Should get the bounty up here. Just there. Going a little bit quick. didn't actually see what ship that was. Not that it matters. Should we have a little look? Why not? Out of interest. Oh, it's another Mustang. Ooh. Damn it. So, I am, by the way, not an expert on Star Citizen. I'm also not an expert pilot. Definitely not. I'm pretty bad. <laughs> 
But I can tell you that what you do want to do when you're, you know, dogfighting is not stay still and to move up and down as much as you move left and right and side to side, that kind of thing. And it might not look like it because we're in space, but I can promise you I am moving up and down as well. Yes, there we go, that one's down. Let's take another bounty one. This is this is fun. I'm enjoying this. Wanted Andrew Deegan, Chrome Stat One, Glover Chrome Stat Three. Like, that might be a bit much for Chrome Stat Three. So here we go. Right. So that's the CS One. So we should get some extra money from that now. Oh, Chrome Stat Two. Let's take that one. Let's take this one. It just appeared. Let's jump over to on one, and we should be able to lock on to. Wherever that bounty is, I didn't actually read it properly to see where it was at. Oh, over at Magda. Oh, we got a player here. Who's this? Am I in trouble? Oh, it's a Sabre as well. Okay, they left us. I've definitely been in trouble right there. Am I going to have to scan her down? Kelly? Hello? I'm assuming it's a lady. Oh, here we go. Oh, there she is. Well, hey, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I immediately assumed lady with the name Kelly, but... Could be wrong, right? I don't know why I was trying to shoot her from there, miles away. Oh, this other one's actually closer. She's got a Mustang. Oh, they're both Mustangs. Ooh, getting, getting a bit of a beat in here. This might actually be a competition this time. Them shields and this generate well slowly. Come on. Struck chaff. Ah, oh. the old chaff work countermeasures worked for him. Uh, what is? It? I don't know. Worked for Kelly. Whoever Kelly is, it worked. If there's any more experienced players that are, uh, you know, well into their dogfighting, what what loadout should I go for with the Aurora? Oh, yeah. What guns should I stick on this bad boy? Make it more efficient at bounty hunting. 2K. Hmm, it still didn't give us the extra for the uh, call to arms, did it? Or it didn't, didn't register it anyway. We're at 30,000 already. That's in about 20 minutes. Um, for me. Don't know what it'll be in the video. That's, that's pretty good, I think. Definitely on par, if not better than box missions, actually, maybe. Definitely more fun. And we did it in the Aurora. So, you know, this is what I'm saying. The Aurora is definitely, in my eyes, the ship to get out of the two base package games. Um, this and the Mustang. Because if you do decide you want to go and do box missions, you can definitely do it with this Aurora. 
clearly you can do bounties with this. This is with the bog standard stuff, guys. I've not put any new guns on this, no new shield, nothing. This is the bog standard ship. So you can definitely do a good stack of bounties with this ship as well. And it's got a bed in it. <laughs> and personally, obviously this is personal preference now. I love this cockpit. I love the view. I love the panels. I love the lighting. I just love the ship. Um, obviously, again, it's ugly as hell. Look at it. It's a flying shoebox. It's awful. The Mustang looks pretty cool. It's got a real nice design to the Mustang. Um, so, yeah, the Aurora don't win that part of the competition. But everything else, it definitely does win. Oh, no. What the hell? I'm being, I'm being pulled out of being pulled out of quantum what have we got here what have we got here ping out a scan see if we can find someone nothing oh no, no. whoa oh that's not good there's a constellation cutlass Looking here. Uh, is the constellation in trouble? I don't know what's going on. Is this a PvP group? All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's get involved. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, it's Nine Tails. It's Nine Tails. Wait, Nine Tails got a constellation on the go then. We got to be quick about taking these out if we plan on doing this. I'm definitely out of my depth here. Ooh, ooh. Alright, we're getting um, getting lit up with a scatter gun here, like a shotgun type of gun. I need to get out of here. Ooh. Swap targets, see if we can find something lighter. That's a Buccaneer. A Buccaneer are meant to be pretty lightly armoured, but they do a lot of damage, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind, but might be able to actually get rid of this. I think that's the Buccaneer, right? Don't really want to swap to scanner right now. Inbound missile. Inbound missile. I think I dropped my chaff. I dropped some now. Whoa. Oh, someone else coming in. This is crazy. Stop with the radar contacts. I might have. Might have to. Do, I think that was another missile incoming. All right, we're gonna have to bail out of here. Come on, come on, lock on, lock on, lock on. Ooh, ooh, oh, we're running out of that one, scarred. That was, I think I was about to pop then. I was about to get turned into popcorn. Wait, it pulled me out again? We didn't even get one of the buccaneers down. I'm running away. <laughs> Quick. So there was a constellation in there. I don't know if that was a player, a, a PV, like an NPC as well. I don't know. We have a Nine Tails or a constellation. That was quite a big fleet of um, pirates though. It's pretty cool. This has been wicked. I've really enjoyed this guy. This has been awesome. Didn't make loads of UEC, but obviously I don't want to make the video too long. I just wanted to have a bit of fun, introduce the series, explain what was going on, and say hello to you. So, 
I think that went well. And also, I wanted to see what the bounties were like with the Aurora, because not done it before. And I can definitely report that it's very, very doable. Very good fun. And looks like it's just as good for making money as doing delivery missions. So I might just do this until we can get a prospect, you know? I think that would be a good way to go. Do you know what, actually? Before I go, let's treat ourselves to some shiny armour. Because I've got no armour, guys. I've just got my little undersuit. Pretty happy with that. I think he looks pretty cool. Um, I feel like we've done the start now. You know, I've got armour. I've got a new undersuit. I've got a helmet. And, um, yeah. Having fun with it. <laughs> if I get closer, is it better? Ooh. No, 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 no. Still not better. Really hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I've had a lot of fun today. And um, we can end on my creepy face. No, don't end on my creepy face. That sounds very wrong and disgusting. But this is the end. And this is my face. Well, my character's face. Ooh. <laughs> thanks for watching guys again really hope you enjoyed it I hope it's helpful for people in the future hope new players enjoy seeing you know you don't need to oh my eyes gone crazy Whoop. you don't need to spend loads of money in this game you can enjoy the game with the base package with the mighty aurora take out bounties get some cool looking armour oh yeah and uh, have an awesome time in the verse thanks for watching guys See you later. Bye.